welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about a potential major change in higher education in California. My guest this segment is Marty Block, a member of the State Senate from San Diego. Thanks very much for being with us. Great to be here, Steve. So we're going to talk about this potential major change, which is legislation that you're carrying. Uh, I guess we ought to explain very briefly the master plan for education in California, which really goes back to 1960, which is kind of crumbling. Yeah, the master plan set out a specific mission for the UC to offer doctoral degrees, CSU undergrad four-year degrees, and community colleges two-year degrees. It's already started to change. Uh, CSU, as of about six or seven years ago, now has the right to offer a limited number of doctoral degrees. And, and my bill that we're going to be talking about today, SB 850, would empower community colleges to offer a very limited number of degrees that will lead to jobs, degrees uh, where there's clear workforce demand, degrees that the CSU doesn't offer. And the rationale behind this legislation is because um, a lot of jobs do not go fill get filled. That's right. California competes says we need 60,000 more bachelor's degrees a year to meet the workforce needs in California. And we're not going to be able to do that with just the CSU offering public four-year degrees. Mm -hmm. The community colleges can fill that need. President Obama talks often about the skills gap in our country, that we don't have enough people with the right skills that match the advanced manufacturing jobs that are out there now. Well, community colleges can do that. Community colleges um, over the years have a lot of technical instruction, but also lower division and get, get, you know, for students to get out of the way some of their lower division requirements before going on to a four-year university. So what would the community colleges offer under your legislation? Well, community colleges would continue to do the really good work they already do, but in addition, um, they would also offer four-year degrees in fields like um, veterinary services, not to be a veterinarian, but to work in a veterinary office. Um, uh, degrees in uh, public safety management, where right now community colleges often do fire training or police training, but they don't, don't train people to be managers in those environments, and neither do the CSUs. It would fill niches that are, that are out there where there are, in some cases, thousands of jobs available. And what are employ employers telling you? Employers, I, I was at Qualcomm a while back down in San Diego. They said they have hundreds of jobs available that they can't fill with Californians because they don't have the right training to match the job. And oftentimes this training is in areas that community colleges could do the job. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's what we're hoping to do. We're hoping to um, meet the needs of employers by supplying them with California trained employees. At first, with this legislation, you'd be dipping your toe in the water. Right. We'd right. start out with a pilot program. Uh, actually, a lot of the details haven't been filled in yet. The statewide community college chancellor has a task force that's meeting to talk about the four-year degree in community colleges. We'll be working with the CSU, working with workforce development boards around the state to decide exactly what. But we'll start small, and if things work well, and we think they will, we'll, we'll get bigger. Colleges, though, would need some more money, obviously, to offer these more courses, have more professors, you name it. Right. Fortunately, we're at a time now where there seems to be some surplus in the budget, especially in Prop 98, where the CSU and UC can't use Prop 98 money, which is where we have some surplus. The community colleges can. The governor's proposed a $50 million set aside for grants for innovation, in, in innovation that would create more bachelor's degrees and have people reach their bachelor's degree more quickly. Again, this program, SB 850, would fit right into what the governor is trying to do, so we think there's a source of funding. Well, it's a fascinating subject. We're certainly going to watch the progress of this legislation in the months ahead. Senator Block, thanks for coming in and talking about it. Thank you, Steve. And thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on YouTube, also on My Government On Demand. I'm Steve Swatt. Have a great day.